Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading Isaiah 62 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and the kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mote of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate, but thou shalt be called Hef's Hef Ziba, and thy land Beulah. For the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yet Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest, till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, and the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast laboured. But they that have gathered it shall eat it and praise the Lord, and they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highways, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called, sought out a city not forsaken. All right, guys. So in this chapter, we see where the Lord is now basically rebranding the children of Israel where he's saying that they will no longer be called forsaken and let me tell you this just goes to speak to the fact that when you come to the Lord you're no longer yourselves you have slain the old man as he said in the New Testament and you've become a new creature and likewise you're no longer called a sinner but you're now called a child of God you're no longer living in sin but you should be living in holiness, all right? And be living in righteousness. Okay, guys? So I just wanted to point that out to you. And if it is that you thought yourself to be small, once you come to the Lord, you're no longer small because every arm of the Lord has its own purpose and has its own duty to carry out and each duty is important to the mission and to the ministry all right guys so please remember that no matter no matter how small the task may seem no matter how insignificant the role itself may seem it is not insignificant in the sight of god all right so i'm gonna leave that with you guys please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.